What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon News Daily, a daily Pokemon show where I go over Pokemon news spamming across all the Pokemon games, including Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, Pokemon Quest, Pokemon Go, and of course, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee Games. Today is Wednesday, July 17th, and yes, I skipped yesterday's show because of the lack of news that came out yesterday, but I will squeeze in just a little bit of news that we got from from yesterday into today's show so let's jump into it because we got a little bit from yesterday and a ton of stuff from today let's jump right into the first news story so the first news story for today is for Pokemon Go Niantic has released a free in-game t-shirt available to all players celebrating the Chicago Pokemon Go Fest 2018 the t-shirt is a black shirt and it features a design of the park that the Pokemon Go Fest was in this year which I believe is Lincoln Park as well as a image of Venusaur and Flygon. To be honest, it looks okay. I it's a Pokeball with Venusaur and Flygon that they were just hitting that shiny Pokemon. You know what I'm saying? I think it's cool because it's free, but at the end of the day, as design-wise, you can't really complain because the one is free, but I kind of wish we got something a little bit doper. Comparing it to the Latios and Latias shirt and the Mew shirt and even the Pikachu shirt, I feel like they put more effort into the designs that are locked behind coins, but that could be just be me. Let me know your thoughts on this free Chicago t-shirt that is now available for all players in the comment section below. Now, the next news story is coming from Cerebi.net. And it's for the smartphone game Pokemon Duel has a new update. This patch takes the game up to version 6.0.13 and requires 247 megabytes of space on your mobile phone to download it. It's required to update in order to play the game. This patch adds a new team match which is available right now for pre-registration focusing on the teams of Leafeon, Glaceon, and Sylveon. The team match will give time boosters that may reward shiny Eevee and shiny Umbreon. Again, pre-registration is live until 8 o'clock UTC on July 20th, while the battle period is going to be from July 20th to July 23rd. Now, as you guys know, I don't really know that much about Pokemon Duel, but let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on everything that they're adding to the game. Now, the third and final news story of the day is also coming from Cerebi.net, and it's about the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee games. Now, early excerpts from an interview with Masuda from the Pokemon Company in Fumitsu Magazine, a magazine in Japan, has been released. And in these excerpts, Masuda regurgitates the statement that the 2019 Pokemon games on the Nintendo Switch will be more keen to the previous handheld titles on the 3DS. However, in other excerpts, when asked if Pokemon from Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee will go into the 2019 game. He states that he knows there was a time when players felt bad that they couldn't transfer their Pokemon forward, referring to when Ruby and Sapphire cut the capability with the gold, silver, and crystal game, as well as the red and blue, because they were on the Game Boy, gold and silver, crystal on the Game Boy Color, cut ties when moving on to the next generation on the Game Boy Advance. This implies that the games will have some future compatibility with other Pokemon games, but at present is not set in stone and the method is not known. That got a lot of people speculating. Is it going to be Pokemon Bank on the Nintendo Switch? Is it going to be something brand new? Is it going to be a way that we could bring our 3DS Pokemon from Pokemon Bank into the Nintendo Switch with something new that they're going to offer with, you know, the Nintendo Switch online service maybe? is a lot of questions. I want to deep dive and wait for this whole interview to come out and do a separate video on potentially Pokemon Bank coming to the Nintendo Switch or potentially how would the Let's Go games be compatible with the 2019 games. I want to wait for more information to come out before I deep dive in that topic. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you excited on the possibility of bringing Pokemon from Let's Go Pikachu into the 2019 games? The Let's Go games are already going to be compatible with Pokemon from Pokemon Go. So you really don't really need to bring over 
Pokemon from Pokemon Bank into your Pokemon Let's Go game, if that makes any sense, because it's only going to have the official 151 Pokemon, and technically, if you wanted to bring any of those, you can via the Pokemon Go method if you caught them in game. Now, I know a lot of people don't play Pokemon Go, and that would be a way to get hardcore players to bring over their competitive Pokemon that they already trained, Ivy trained, even though if it's part of only the 151, they can bring them over. Let me know your thoughts on this issue and this whole topic. I will be doing a full video directly on this, so be on the lookout for that, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy I'm Fred on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one, so if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.